successful rebuttal by a president fighting for his political survival. Ecuador's Guillermo Lasso denied all wrongdoing in the first day of impeachment proceedings against him, instead offering a searing critique of opposition lawmakers. Oi. Today I am here on this podium in my defense and respecting your oversight role, but I have also come here to say the following to my accusers. I accuse you, I accuse you of having abandoned your role as legislators. You are now anti-legislators of this republic because you do not create laws and instead you destroy them. The former banker is accused of corruption, having allowed the embezzlement of public funds through contracts at a state-owned oil transfer company. But those making the claims against them are using the trial to paint the picture of a failed presidency that goes beyond this specific case. President Lasso, you are not above the law. You have exceeded all the limits of what the Constitution says, which is why today you are sitting accused in a trial. Lasso barely survived the first impeachment vote less than a year ago, following weeks of mass protests against the cost of living. The president, who has a 17% approval rating in opinion polls, has presided over a worsening economic situation and a wave of drug trafficking-related violence. A supermajority of 92 out of 137 lawmakers is needed to secure his removal. But at any point before the vote, Lasso could dissolve Congress and trigger early elections. He would then govern by decree for six months while elections take place. Outside the National Assembly, hundreds gathered in support and against the president. There are deaths everywhere. Safety is the worst in Latin America. What is happening in Ecuador? We've never been like this before. The right needs to step aside. This is a wicked impeachment trial. It only shows resentment and immorality. The president defended himself very well. We are afraid of becoming Cuba or Venezuela. We don't want a return to socialism. Yet the coalition to impeach Lasso crosses ideological boundaries, from the leftist Union for Hope party of former President Rafael Correa to the right-wing social Christians that until recently were on the president's side, which shows just how unpopular this government has become. The proceedings will continue through Wednesday, with a possible vote coming as soon as Saturday. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Quito.